Hi YouTube, we're back. Now this is a subject that's come up numerous times and it's regarding the Tesco's huddle. This is the huddle one that I have with the reset problem whereas you go to reset it and unfortunately you can't connect to Wi-Fi and update the tablet because it's no longer supported. Here it is. Now, this is a subject that keeps on recurring. Unfortunately, I don't have a fix at the minute, but what I do have is the ability to at least get this thing into what's known as developer mode. And we can take an, uh, an exploit to do that. Now, as I said, this is not a fix, but what this does enable us to do is to prepare our device ready for when I do have that fix. Let me read something to you that came in 10 days ago, and this is an ongoing subject. It's, and this has been going on for, I think, nearly a year or maybe more. Let me read it, and it says, by James Patterson, 10 days ago, edited. Looking forward to your remedy for the Tesco Huddle 1 till get them from 4.2.2, for I've heard it floated that even the Huddle 2 and its Android version of 5 odd is to be unsupported soon too. Which will then make all Tesco tablets useless for getting apps onto anyway. And you're the only person I found that's taken any interest in it for people. Well, thank you, James Patterson. And also 10 days ago, DJ Gavster said, can I send you my huddle? Well, in response to that, no, you can't at the moment. Although when I do find this fix, then maybe that might be an option. But by then, I'm hopefully going to be releasing the actual hack for it and the software to do this. But the purpose of this video is to get this guy into developer options. So at least we can do this via ADB. Let's pause. Let's get this thing over here on the desk and let's see what we can do. I'll see you in a moment. Right, okay, here's the huddle. Let's power this guy on again and put it into landscape mode. Hopefully you can see that. I'll zoom in and show you what I'm doing. I'll try not to kick the tripod over. Right, okay, so we're going to first of all go to the start menu. Now, I've already connected to Wi-Fi, but here's the problem. When you go to connect, it says it can't access the internet. Check Wi-Fi connection. So, first of all, you obviously want this connected to your own Wi-Fi. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to other network. Right. And then there's a microphone icon down there. The second key on the left-hand side where my finger is. You're going to press and hold that and slide up. We'll try that one again because you're looking for that settings icon. That's it. Where you have the input options as you can see. Now we're going to go to Google Keyboard Settings on this. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to About Google Keyboard. Right? So you end up with something that looks like that. Now what we're going to do is go to, I think it's Open Source Licenses and press that. Right? And now you can see all of your licenses. What we're going to do, now bearing in this thing is connected to my Wi-Fi at the moment, so you'll want to do that. Press and hold anywhere on there. 
like I have, and in the top right hand side you will see web search. So we'll go ahead and press that, and it throws up this. So you could even still use the huddle in this manner for the time being until I release the fix for it. Now in the top hand bar there, we're going to press on that, clear that off, and then type in settings until you get something that looks like that. There's a black icon with blue lines on it. You're going to press that and it will throw up this. Now we can scroll all the way down and there's something called developer options on that. So we're going to press that and I've already done it but you can go ahead and enable USB debugging mode You don't need to verify apps over USB, and that is pretty much ready to go for, for the idea I have. That's as far as I've got at the moment, but the theory is simple. What we'll then do is connect this to a computer, and using ADB and Fastboot, we will try to push an update from the computer onto a tablet this way. Now, as I said, I've not got that far yet, but what we're going to actually have to do is physically put on a blank version of either 4.2.2 or uh, Android 5. But now that we've got our developer mode enabled, we can just simply back out of that. And again, just back out. We don't want to back out and reset. We actually want to try and swipe out of this if we can. Might not be possible, but in any event, what we have done we can also turn on Bluetooth while we're about it, so it gives us more connection opportunities. The more that we can do, actually, the better. So we've got this far at the very least. And then you've got the About tablet. In order to get to the Developer options, you'll also need to click the About and hit the build number on it seven times. I forgot to mention that. So from the beginning again, when you get to settings, go to the about tablet, hit the build number seven times, and then you should see developer options there. It says in my case, no need, we're a developer. And that's gonna enable us to connect this thing to a computer now what we can do is power this off with the side button here. This will shut it down. That's fine. That's as far as we've got at the moment, but at least we've been able to bypass some of the system in order to get that far. So what we'll now do is close off and go to the outro. So there we are, people. Unfortunately, it's not a fix at the moment, but it's the latest update that I have for you. Now, if you're able to get this hurdle into developer mode as I've just done, we stand a chance at being able to, as we said, connect this thing to a PC and then force a new version of Android onto it. But again, it's going to take some time for me to actually work this out, so please do bear with me. But as soon as I actually do achieve this, and believe you me, it is in my interests and your interests to actually get this thing done, then I will make that public uh, here on YouTube and you will learn first on how we can do that. But for now, unfortunately, that's as far as we can get um, with this. 
it's it's the latest update that I have for you at least you're able to still access your device albeit every time that you reboot then you have to go through that process again at least you know in terms of the web browsing but once the developer mode has been uh, unlocked then the idea being is now we should be able to connect this to a PC and force an update on the operating system itself and recover our hurdle and scrub all the bloatware on it. You see, what's happened is, is Tesco's have shut down the servers as far as we know and trying to roll back time and set date and time settings doesn't work because the actual update servers that Tesco's have have been switched off. It's completely an unsupported device. So what we're going to have to do, by the looks of this, is to download a whole version of either Jelly Bean 4.2.2 or Android 5 and then force it onto this. So in other words, we have to push it onto this tablet and I hope it works. But fear not, I don't just have one of them. I've got another one that's been mailed in that I bought, which we can open now. I'm pretty sure it's a huddle. It is. It's another one, exactly the same device with exactly the same problem. So what we'll do is, well, we're going to have a go anyway at some point when I get the time. And we'll try and force um, a version of Android onto it. Hopefully it doesn't brick it. But there is no way of knowing until we actually get that far. Anywho, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news at the moment although it's not necessarily bad news if you can get access to developer options you might be able to recover it so all is not lost just yet so don't throw those devices away i might have a fix for you in the up and coming couple of months or so it's going to take a while so please be patient anywho this has been yours truly it's club 40 here like comment subscribe Get in the notification section as well so you know when I put out a new video. I appreciate all your likes, all your subs and everything else. I appreciate you following this channel and I wish you all the very best. And also, if anybody does happen to find a fix before me, because I'm pretty busy, then fair shout, leave a comment to say that you found a fix for it. I'll verify it and the whole community is happier. Until then, I wish you all the very best and I will see you in the next one.